like Oath Keepers has been denied. Yes, uh, Kim Davis legal team declines Oath Keepers office, uh, offer rather, to protect her against unlawful arrest. Uh, upon request from Kim Davis legal team, Oath Keepers is canceling the planned security detail for Miss Davis in Moorhead County. Oath Keepers have been contacted by Kim Davis legal team at Liberty Council and they have, on her behalf, declined our offer of assistance in protecting her from a possible repeat incarceration by Federal District Court Judge Bunning. We will, of course, respect her wishes, and we are hereby issued a stand-down for our security volunteers who are planning on deploying to Moorhead County on Monday. Oath Keepers will not be conducting a security detail for Miss Davis. We always seek the full consent and cooperation of anyone we protect, and we must respect their wishes if they decline that protection. Any who was planning on going to Moorhead, Kentucky to serve on the security detail are now asked not to do so. We do thank you most sincerely for your willingness to step up as unpaid volunteers in defense of due process. That was very honorable intent, and we commend you. This is a free country, and of course you are free to still go there on Monday and peacefully assemble to express your support for her due process rights and your opposition to arbitrary arrest if you want to, but Oath Keepers will not be conducting a security detail, and she apparently does not want anyone else to do so. Therefore, we encourage you to save your gas money and time off work for another security de detail at another time, such as for our planned upcoming operation to guard Texas border ranchers against drug cartel violence and invasion. I I'm going to stop and link you guys to this because I really don't want to read Oath Keeper rhetoric. Uh, I have questioned these guys' authenticity for some time now. Um, why would... Kim Davis declined them. Well, maybe she doesn't want another Ferguson tied to her name. Um, you know, and, and again, I, I question the whole Oath Keepers thing. They put so much hype on this, okay? They, they just, you know, posts all over the Internet, all the alternative news, everybody, oh, Oath Keepers is going to Kentucky, oh. And, and got millions of, of site hits, probably, and, and who knows what and donate, who knows? But I know it was a, a massive onslaught of publications that they were going to go, and then at the last minute, they're not going to go. And, and I, I wonder, you know, this woman did break the law, right? She can practice religion, but while working in the capacity of a public servant you are not an individual human being per se you have agreed to fulfill your duties at work and if you break the law doing that you know we do have to and it's a hard balance i understand protecting religious freedoms um you know ensuring the law of the land is enforced it is a hard balance but it's a publicity stunt. Now, if Oath Keepers were really worth their salt, right, wouldn't they be standing outside of D.C. waiting to arrest the president? Because, I mean, all the evidence says that he, that he usurped the position. He stole it, right? What about all those other congressmen and representatives and all the politicians in D.C. that we know are... are uh, manipulating the system, uh, taking private funding from corporations, passing uh, unjust laws every day of the goddamn week. Oath Keepers, nowhere to be seen, right? They're not really doing anything except riding the hype. Ferguson was big all over the Internet. Oath Keepers is going to Ferguson, right? This Kim Davis all over the Internet. Oh, they're going to ride the wave. They're going to ride the wave. Leader fags, some would call them. Anyway, I'm going to link you to the post. Judge for yourself. But my opinion of Oath Keepers, honeypot, waste of time, false prophet, 
etc., etc., etc. Much love, many thanks, and I'll see you. Put your bodies upon the gears and upon the wheels, upon the levers.